Greetings and welcome back to Factory Town. I'm Catherine of Sky, and we have made an excellent start to our first colony and I'm very, very happy with it at the present moment. All right, so the next step we wanna do is we wanna start doing research. Um, and the research building is the school and that one is, dee -dee 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 -dee, it is this one. Uh, and from experience, I know that the school takes various materials kind of funky weird materials sometimes so i think what we'll do is oh ooh, ooh. we probably would like to build a stone masonry somewhere maybe here ish actually um the thing about the school is yeah we need to get supplies from places i guess i could take the supplies directly from the oh you know what i never thought about doing it take it from the barn or the base so let me put that near ish the base okay i think we'll do that that makes sense all right we have a new recipe unlocked the lumber mill can now make paper now if you put this next to water you don't have to transport water here which is highly advantageous so i think we're gonna do that uh wow there's water here, but man, there's a lot of trees in the way there. So hmm, I think we're going to need another lumber mill. Like maybe, yeah, maybe we'll just have a guy walking long distance to do that building lumber mill. So we're going to have this lumber mill totally only going to make trees. Look at this. This is great. So it's going to have like, I think it's going to have like a little water siphoner well or something um but it's cool that you can actually see where it's valid if you have auto water delivery so this is a good thing all right let's put this where we can have a path through the trees ish that'll work okay so this guy is going to make paper so we've got to select this make sure you select it and already water's filled up to 20 perfect so now we're going to have we're going to need to have a worker gathering logs now one thing i forgot to mention last time is that wagons cannot gather raw materials like so that i couldn't say wagon go get these trees no no guy has to actually chop the trees um, and take them to the building okay but i could get a wagon to deliver the paper from the lumber mill to the base so i think what that's what i'm going to do uh or i could just have a worker do it but you know what let's let's have more wagons um i kind of want to do a wagon from place to place let's just build a couple of them um i have 37 wheels oh i need more stuff oh dear what did i run out of let's see what am i short on oh money <laughs> they cost 40 each hello but the cool thing is of course that okay we're just going to deliver it directly to the school because i don't think we need paper for anything else yet so when it runs out then that's going to be fine did it go no it did not go maybe it doesn't see a path hello can you go here are you unhappy with this yes you are oh you are really unhappy with this all right i guess we're gonna have to use a traditional worker then that's kind of a shame but it's okay it'll be fine of course the regular worker can only deliver one at a time that's all right. Okay, so we're getting paper into the school. Now here are our research thingy things. We've got farming, forestry, uh, metallurgy. So I think what we're going to do is we'll just start in order. We'll go with farming. and We need grain for this. So we're going to have someone just taking grain from the grain field to the school. Now, I don't know how much research is needed let's see hit r to view research progress let's see r oh there we go so we need 25 research thingies for these two and then for metallurgy we need 50. so we'll just keep that in mind um it's just going to happen as it happens obviously but the, the point is we do not need to build a huge assembly line just for research until i don't know maybe there's going to be some major researches later look at these guys just having a great time rolling these logs down here and the stones as well right into the base it's fantastic <laughs> anyway um you know what we could get another person also delivering herbs to the base i hadn't thought about that that might be a good idea too because i know we're going to need herbs um for one of the researches i think it's medicine later on so oh look at this look at this 
we're topped up on stuff. We have too much thing, too much, too many things. All right, let's go ahead and upgrade these guys here. Upgrade some of these houses. You guys are upgraded. These guys need cloth for the next upgrade, I think. So, all right, they're happy now though. They are really happy. We can have 32 workers, which is awesome. I wonder if, let me see, do the wagons need, um, they do need a house. All right, so it's a guy driving a wagon, obviously because wagons don't really need houses unless they're really demanding wagons. So, um, <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> but anyway, uh, I think what I'm going to do is we're going to have just a person here. We're just going to have him hand collecting these herbs. I thought about building a, I guess I could build a chute that way, perhaps. Yeah, let's just build it. We can get the materials back later. Let's build a chute. Okay, there we go. Okay, worker guy. Whoops, we're having a little bit of a lag issue there. Uh, I wonder if it's because I'm playing on a on a large map because I never had any any um, stop stoppages of any. Oh, oh, look, the herbs are going too. I wasn't sure if they would roll, but yes, they do. <laughs> um, anyway, but so the thing is, is that I've noticed that you cannot put um, like intermediate goods on these chutes like you can't put a grain bag on a chute you have to transport it with a cart um so that's something to think about anyway but this is this is getting very very nicely efficient here we have a whole bunch of wagons ready to go wherever we want them to so let's figure out the next thing to build um we could do oh yes we need a stonemason absolutely so we could build one here actually could build one like this. Um, ish. <laughs> it's kind of a weird spot. I think it's I think it's too weird of a spot. Okay, we're gonna just do this here and have somebody delivering the stone that way. I love this stonemason building. It's kind of cool. I actually do like the houses and stuff. I think they're adorable. They're really cute. Um, and the little people, they remind me of those little play school little people. And this is nice too. Um, so yeah, some of the things like, uh, you know, the workshop and the barn are a little bit more unfinished looking, but I do love the, the crunkly shape of the rocks and things like that. So anyway, um, yeah, <laughs> sorry. I do get excited about these things. They're so fun. Okay. Let's take this path down this way as far as we can anyway. Okay, we'll we'll fix this terrain later. There are terrain deformation tools. I haven't been using them a lot because they're expensive. Um, let's see. Hold on. Footpath. There we go. In fact, let me delete these paths there. Okay, it still leaves kind of an echo of them. But uh, I want to change the terrain. We have a little bit of money right now, so we can change that. We can do a block, which is kind of like raisiny, raisining, raising or flattening a block, which I think we could do here. Uh, just makes the whole block flat or not, or you can raise and lower. Then there's also the flatten tool, which is uh, kind of like, you know, you flatten versus another surface or remove resources which cost 20 coins each and you get your resources removed <laughs> which is kind of inconvenient so let's get our footpath back again here you can go up a single slope with the paths and things um there we go so i think what we'll do is this is holding lots of wheels isn't it um, I want to get a wagon, but we need workers first. We need to have like two workers. We'll say, take stone there, please. And wagons will take stone to the barn. And then we can get the materials from the barn or wherever uh, it wants to be. I think the base is, might be unlimited, but I'm not sure. I'm afraid that it might not be, so I don't know, but we'll see. We'll see how it goes. We may have to like, I don't know if we can close off these slots or it uh, doesn't appear so, but anyway, we can, uh, we can get stuff. Oh, I love these wagons. You can actually see the product in them. Like it's, it's just cute. It's really, really cute. <laughs> oh dear. 
I get so excited over games like this. Um, yeah, because they're just adorable and, and it functions very well, like with all of these like sort of conveyor belts of stuff. I want to get more of those going. Um, last time I had a very, very compact city. And so I had many more like shoots and stuff to carrying stuff around. So I want to try to get to that soonish. And we're going to have to because look at the grain. It's running out. We have like three things of grain left. We're going to have to get these guys maybe over here. Uh, to harvest this grain and maybe even over there. I mean, you can see how we need to expand our lines later uh, to get things moving on. Okay, so we have our workshop. Next thing we kind of want to work on is, wait, what do we want to work on? School is doing, really? Can I rotate this? Oh, I can rotate it. How nice. <laughs> I was like, do I have to delete it? No, I don't. No, I don't. Game not mean to me. All right, forestry is next. Uh, let's see what we can build right now. We want to build probably, I know we want to get a pasture. Um, there's a well as well. Stonemason we have, school we have. Pasture is next because we're going to need cloth. And the cloth, so cloth is here. And cloth uh, is based, oh, hey, hello. We could build another thingy up here. Why didn't I think of that? Hello. Um, I would really like to get a conveyor belt though going on. So let's see. Cloth. Uh, we need a pasture for cloth. And pastures we could build. I kind of want to have a separate workshop for that. I wonder if I should build like a workshop for cloth and a whole barn for cloth. I wonder if that would work very well. We could do that. Um, I wonder if we should just remove these trees, like a line of trees here for a pathway. That might be advisable. Let's see. If we have a path going this way, like this. Yeah, that would be pretty good. Um, let's see. Now, I know that some resources. I've seen grain is um, renewable with a farm. Uh, and you can also renew trees. You can plant trees, basically. Oh, we need to build this here, this pasture, so we don't have to go and get water. Yeah, we got to get that going. We need to get rid of these two grain tiles. Okay, so we need to, is it block? No path? No building? No. Where was it that I saw remove? Oh, terrain. It is terrain. There we go. Take these off as well. All right, good. So let's get our path moved along here. And we'll make it too wide later. We'll try to remember to do that. So let's put our building, let's make our pasture here in the water zone. Ah, animal feed. Yes, that's another thing we need, <laughs> which is going to be rough. Um, Okay, so animal feed is also made in a grain mill here. So we're going to have this here. So we can get the guys to move the grain there. Um, and then a wagon. I don't know if we need a wagon or not. Um, let's build some more workers. Let's build a worker here. Okay, so worker, you're going to take grain to the grain mill and you're going to make animal feed. So we're going to just choose this one. So two grain to make one animal feed. The pasture, meanwhile, is going to make wool here. Oh, you can upgrade it. How nice. Increase production speed. So two, four equals one, one. Let's upgrade it. Uh, oh, and it just increases the speed. Okay, great. Now then, we're going to need another worker to... Let's see. Let's get another worker here. Let's get two. Let's get one more here. And then one guy taking stuff from there to there. We have plenty of water in here. So then we're going to get a wagon and we're going to take the wool. Okay. Wool here to, uh, somewhere where we don't have yet. Okay. Hold on. Uh, we need a barn. <laughs> I forgot about the barn. I want to build a barn here. Let's build our barn right up here. Um, we're going to leave a space for the road. Okay. And this barn 
is going to store stuff and then we need a workshop. We need another workshop building workshop. Now, I'm not sure if I should have the wool transferred directly to the workshop. I guess I should. Okay. You take the wool directly to the workshop. Uh, I should have put the workshop here, I guess. Um, the workshop is going to make cloth. And I don't know if we need cloth directly or if we should put cloth. Hmm. I wonder about this. Like, does this count all the stuff that's also in here? Like, if I wanted wheels, I wonder if I would have to get them out of this particular barn, this specific barn. I guess I should. Is there any way you can, like, cancel production? I guess not. Probably would just have to, like, shut off the thing. I wish there was, like, a stop production. That would be very handy, actually. Um, some kind of a way to turn off the workshop. Um, but in, in, in any case, we're making cloth, which is a good thing. Um, the next thing we're going to need is cloth conveyor belts. Now, we need to have another workshop producing. Um, this one, we need wheels. We need cloth and we need stone brick to make conveyor belts. We're going to do that right now. Let's get a building to make uh, the workshop. I think we'll put that right here. Okay, and you're going to make cloth conveyors. Now, I'm going to need one wagon here to take wheels from the barn to there. One wagon here to take cloth to there. And another wagon here to take, I think we'll take the stone directly from there instead of this one going here. I think that'll be fine. That'll work well. Okay. So this guy, this barn is not getting anything. Is that right? That's right. It's completely useless at the moment. Uh, you know, I think we can, let's delete this for now. Let's just delete it. Uh, since we're not actually using it, let me put down a path here. There we go. And then we'll leave the rest of the path for later. Okay, good. Okay. We're getting stuff done. We're, things are happening in this little factory town here. <laughs> okay. Research farming is almost done. This is great. And meanwhile, back at the ranch, we are getting conveyor belts made. We have nine conveyor belts made. This is fantastic. Um, I guess we'll need another barn. Um, let's see. I'm thinking about just putting it like behind here. Let's just do that. Let's get a barn. Let's put that here. Let's get a path footpath here and we can now make roads as you might have seen okay okay there we go uh all right and we'll get a wagon to go from here to there whoops wait wait wagon take these from there to there because you you can actually take some of the input products out so i wanted to make sure that it wasn't going to do that and now we oh 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 look at what problems we have now we have issues <laughs> These guys can't do anything. So we need to get them getting the grain. So what we're going to do here is we're going to delete this entire thing uh, or part of it. Well, actually most of it as it happens. Uh, shoots. So right now you have to delete each of these things by themselves. Um, but in the future, there will be other ways of doing things. So what I want to do is let's see. Um, blocks. Okay, now we have to delete these guys. Okay, cool. I could delete that road as well. What I want to do is have a conveyor that goes kind of over the height of these guys. Can I put that here? I can. Okay, cool. Can I do... I think I can do this... All right, I could do this, that's for sure. Let's just delete these guys. Okay, I have to tab to go to this one. Could go up here. Tab here. Go here. 
go there. Okay, this is kind of what we want here. Let's just make it a little bit more logical here ish. Now I have tested and you can. So I think as long as there's one space underneath. So this is like, I would call it like a half a block high, one of these guys. And then two is like a full block high. Things can go underneath if it's only just the one half a block high. I've noticed this, but in, in these other areas, it's going to be one block high. So it looks a little bit better. Okay, here we go. Now we're aiming for over here. Okay, hold on guys. Wait, wait for me. The, uh, the rotation is a little bit sensitive, I've noticed. Okay, now here's where we're gonna get to be only half a block high. So I'm wondering if I should just kind of make it a little bit more uh, higher like this. So it's kind of more believable. All right, and we want to go and get stuff here. So one, two, three. One thing would be nice to have some kind of an indicator of like how high these things are, like a like a height number. I I, I have very definite flashbacks of like railroad, uh, not railroad, but roller coaster tycoon playing this game. It's so good. <laughs> I love that game. It was so nice. Okay, so that's there. We need to get one more here. And then we could possibly just like build this up also so it has this kind of like doesn't look totally weird. There we go. So we have like little corner support blocks. Okay. Now then. Here we have this thing and we could actually maybe good to be making this a little bit lower there. Oops. No, you can't delete things from underneath by the way. Okay. You could do that though. And then There we go. This is what we want. Oops, sorry about the camera movements. It's a little bit awkward. Okay, so we have a shoot. We're gonna get our shoots going on here. Um, meanwhile, our people are probably really unhappy. Um, yeah, production's at 75% because nobody's getting food and I don't blame them. Of course they're hungry. Oh, wait, wait, research, research. Farming is, oh yeah, we ran out of uh, wheat. So <laughs> that's not good. It's like, no. Okay. Um, wheat guy, you know what? Go ahead and um, take this wheat here to the school. Yes, yeah, so we can just get that research completed. Right. Let's start building our shoot system here. Um, and so you can, the important thing about the shoots is you have to have them going into the building. It doesn't matter where, it doesn't have to be um, a hole, could be the side of the building. The important thing is you cannot have them going like this. Like if you have something going this way, you have to have it pointing into the building. So I learned that the hard way. Okay, let's just take these along. Just click dragging is quite nice here. All right, looking good. Can't afford it, oh dear. What are we needing for this? Is this, these are planks, I think. Jeez, new research, medicine, yay. Okay, so we're gonna have to wait until we get some more planks. This is, um, it's kind of embarrassing. And this guy, the, the wheat guy, we don't need him anymore there. Okay, so the next thing we're gonna need though, is we do need forestry. So we need wood to go to there. Oh, uh, is that you? Okay, you're the new new guy. 
going over there. I actually need you over here, please. Get wood to go there. Thank you. Um, yes, we get this forestry research done. They're also needing paper. Uh, look at this in uh, metallurgy. They need books. So that's something else we have to think about, worry about. Uh, one thing also that you should note is that if the, oh, there it goes. You have to select the research. That's important. If you don't select something like, um, you, you might say, ah, oh, yes, just have herbs going in for medicine and just build them up. You can't actually do that. It will not accept the goods unless you have the things selected. So it's very important to kind of remember. Now, let's see if we can, oh, we still need much more plank wise, man. We need so many planks. These guys are doing okay. Hmm. These are just, wait, are these getting where they need to go? This guy's just delivering them manually. I guess it's okay because we don't really need a wagon for that. But we do, we could use another wagon, that's for sure. Um, let's build a, a couple more wagons. Ooh, I need, uh, oh, more lumber. Uh no! All right, fine. All right, we're going to have this wagon temporarily going from here to there because obviously we can't keep on supplying it. These guys could use a shoot, I'm thinking. I think I think they could use a shoot. So I think we'll build one for them real quick. Workers, shoot, go. All right, and then we'll just have them go from wood to shoot. Here you go, wood to shoot, please. And that'll make it easier to get stuff. There they go. Look at this. They barely have to move. So it's much, much faster to get the woods, the woods going, <laughs> the goods going where they need to go. <laughs> okay. So we got a little bit more lumber. Is this, wait, where's that wagon? Oh, there it is. There it is. It's going to be slowly transferring because it's got a long way to go. But this barn, I think this barn is full. Yeah, it's, it's pretty full. So not much choice there. Okay, we do need, desperately need to get this chute going along here. We just need the stuff to get it moving. Now, one thing that I have, oh, and we're gonna, this, this is a bit twisty. This is not great. But one thing that you can do is you can connect uh, belts and chutes very easily. The chutes, all they have to do is be straight or downward going, um, but the conveyors can take stuff upward. And so if we put a conveyor, and let's just do this, um, let's put our conveyors, and I love that you can reuse the materials. It's really good. Look at this. Oh, that's so good. Okay. Okay, good. So these guys, come on over. There we go. So these guys here going to be able to take this grain, put it on the conveyor belt. And the conveyor belts are slower than shoots, but watch, this is so good. Look, it's going up. Nice, nice. There it goes. Oh, and there it goes. <laughs> and look how they accelerate as they go along the marble run. This is so fantastic. <laughs> I love this. I so love this. This just like brings me so much happiness and joy. I, you have no idea. It's so good. So anyway, but we can build another of these structures, but you can, you can actually mix um, these things because uh, these guys are very expensive to make, obviously. Um, so what you can do is if you have, you know, straight lines, you can have, you know, two conveyor belts going up, connected to chutes going all straight, whatever. Um, and it makes it a lot easier to get that stuff done. So anyway, that's a thing that happens. So that's good, good, good. Uh, oh, we got wagons waiting. We got stuff things going. What's happening? We're waiting for stone? What's going on here, stone? Uh, okay. Do we have a, a jam? Is that what's going on here? Okay. You go there. You go there. You are inventory full. Hmm. All right. Let's try this. Ooh, something new unlocked just now. That was kind of cool. Uh, all right, we're going to take this one. Come on, go to the work uh, barn. Sometimes I've noticed they do get in a jam, and that's not good. That's why I have two wide roads. But this is a problem here. This is not great. Okay, now we're making conveyors again. Good. And now we can make other stuff again. Okay, minus happiness. This is great. Yay. 
we can't even upgrade these because now we're getting cloth. Oh, 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 that's why we needed a barn. So we could have, um, let's see, let's build our barn back again here. Put that there. And we're going to have, here's, this is the cloth wagon. All right, cloth wagon. I want you to take stuff to the barn. We're going to build another, oh, whoa, what did I do now? Oh, I did something. I did some kind of a grid mode. Gee, oh, it's a grid. Look at that. It's kind of weird that it's only on one side. I don't know why that is, but um, it's kind of cool. Very neat, like top down view. Press G. Uh, okay, let me build another wagon. Workers, I need a house. I need another house. Okay, so time to build houses. Okay, let's build one here and here. Nice. I can even build one here. And it's all in the market zone. Upgrade them all. So that's six more workers. Boom. And of course we need cloth. So let's get building workers wagon. Right. So this wagon is going to take cloth from here to, I think it's that workshop, right? That's making the cloth conveyors. Yeah. Okay. Great. Are we having another jam? No, we're fine. Okay. How, what is going on with this? They're full on. Oh, this is the manure stuff. Right. So we have other things here. Um, I think we need, just need a regular person worker. So let's go for you and you're going to take, come on, there we go. We're going to take the manure and put it in the barn. It's a lot of manure, but it's okay. I think something happened here. Oh, there's no grain. Oh dear. That's not good. These guys need more grain. Obviously. Uh, I think we're going to build a shoot system here so that they can get the grain over there. That would make sense to me. So let's go ahead and build a um, scaffold block so we can go across the water here. Okay, that might be an auto save also that's happening, I'm thinking. Okay, look at this. All right, build path, shoot. Anybody remember the game shoots and ladders? It's kind of like snakes and ladders. So you didn't have to use snakes. I always liked shoots better than snakes. Um, okay. We do need a, uh, scaffold blocks. Oh, see, we have tree planters now. This is good. We're just going to put this adjacent here so we can put a road so that these people can go home to their families at night. Uh, they do have families. I'm sure they, 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 you know, got to love their wagons and fellow, um, peoples and stuffs. Yes. Okay. We need to, <laughs> we need to connect this shoot here. So this is going to stop here, but if we put it here, going to roll just right on into this grain mill and life is going to be so much better. There they go. Okay. So now we're going to get making cloth again. <laughs> nice. Okay. So yes, unhappiness is disappearing as we're going to get more stuff going along. Yep. We're getting food, which is nice. We have half conveyor belt construction here, half shoots. I, I think there are trains involved here too, or some kind of things with tracks. Um, but that is for the future. We're going to be able to discover that later. Okay. So what are you looking for? What are you doing guy? You're taking grain. Oh, we don't need grain anymore. We're good. Thanks. Uh, all right. One thing I don't know is if you can delete workers. Ah, medicine. Right. So we're done with the wood. We're, we're done. Thanks. Paper is done. Good. Okay. There's that auto save. And we just need somebody taking cloth. So let's just have you take cloth from here. 
to the school and then we'll be able to research some medicine. All right, but that is all the time we have for today. So thank you so very much for joining me. I hope you're enjoying this game as much as I am. Remember, there is a limited beta uh, invite. Just go to the um, Factory Town Discord and uh, you'll uh, find the information there. So thank you so very much for joining me. Take care of yourselves and each other, and I'll see you next time.